Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, let's take a look at a sample question from the Math Olympiad. We are given the equation of x squared plus 4x plus 1 is equal to 0, and we need to make use of this information to solve for the unknown k within a very complex looking equation. Just by looking at the fraction, we know that directly substituting the first equation is probably not going to work. So we need to find a different approach. And if you take a closer look at the fraction, we notice that both on the numerator and the denominator, the unknown k is actually the coefficient of x squared. So if you want to find k, we need to find a way to get rid of x squared. Let me copy down my first equation. I have x squared plus 4x plus 1 is equal to 0. From here, I'm going to divide both sides by x. And if I do that, on the left-hand side, I will end up with x plus 4 plus 1 over x. And on the right-hand side, that's equal to 0. From here, I can rearrange the equation by doing x plus 1 over x is equal to negative 4. And that's going to be the first equation that we are going to use. I'm trying to relate equation 1 to this fraction. And I know that in order to do that, I need to raise the power to square. So let's go ahead and take the square on both sides. So what I have now is x plus 1 over x square is equal to negative 4 square. This becomes x square plus 2 x 1 over x plus 1 over x square and that's equal to negative 4 square which is equal to 16. We know x and x will cancel. So what I have now is x square plus 2 plus 1 over x square is equal to 16. I can simplify this further by writing it as x square plus 1 over x square is equal to 14. I'm going to call this my equation 2 and together with equation 1, these are the two equations that I'm going to try to use to solve the unknown k. But first, let me copy down the fraction. I have x to the power of 4 plus kx square plus 1 divided by 2x cubed plus kx square plus 2x that's equal to 2. Remember in the beginning of the video we mentioned that we are trying to get rid of x square for which k is the coefficient. So in order to do that maybe let's just go ahead and try to divide both the numerator and the denominator by 1 over x square. So I'm just going to multiply both sides by 1 over x squared and see what we come up with. If I multiply it by 1 over x squared, what I have now is x squared plus k plus 1 over x squared on the numerator. And on the denominator, I have 2x plus k plus 2 over x. And that's of course equal to 2. Let's try to rearrange our equation. So what I have now is x squared plus 1 over x squared plus k over 2x plus 2 over x plus k equal to 2. From here, I know that based on equation 2, this is equal to 14. So let's put in the value of 14. Now I have 14 plus k over 2x plus 1 over x plus k equal to 2. And based on equation 1, we know that x plus 1 over x is equal to negative 4. In other words, the equation can now be expressed as 14 plus k divided by 2 negative 4 plus k 
is equal to 2. So I have 14 plus k over negative 8 plus k is equal to 2. 14 plus k is equal to negative 16 plus 2k. We can solve easily for the value of k which is equal to 30. And that's the final answer for today's video. I thank you for watching. Have a good day. Goodbye.